Hello there everyone, this is Nuzzle the Bashful Viking, and here is an update on the battle pets and mounts of Warlords of Draenor beta. So we're gonna do pets first, and then I'll probably do mounts in a second video that I will post. So I'm just gonna go through all the new pets that I see. Uh, there, there's gonna be some repeats of ones from the previous video, just because I can't remember what ones I haven't done, and I don't feel like going through it and writing it down and I don't want to... it's a hassle. It's stupid. Okay, so let's just go through it. So this will be all the new pets that they've added in the pet journal so far in the beta, including the ones from the previous video. So first, we're starting at the bottom at the Z's, and we're doing Storm... Storm Stork, which is an undead crab thingy, and it drops from reanimated dark tide Bone Shell, Dark Tide Husk in Shadow Moon Valley. That's quite a name. I like him. And he does Infected Claw, Creeping Fungus, Shell Shield, Rot, Carp. Oh, yes, I remember this. Carpnado, and Toxic Skin. Alright. Moving on up the list Zangar Crawler. He is a aquatic crab, and he does rip, claw, spiny carapace, shell shield, dive, and blood in the water. Wood wasp. Um, all the wasps are going to have the same ability, so I'll go through this one and then I won't have to do any more wasps. Barbed stinger, bite, focus, predatory strike, puncture wound, and ravage. And we still can't see poor Wid Widget the Departed. I'm really anxious to see what this kitty's gonna look like. But he's an undead kitty that you get at the Hollowed End event. I really hope that they add it this year, this Halloween, but chances are we're not gonna get him to, s to see him until 2015. But fingers crossed that he comes out this year. And you get him from collecting the candy, from going to end in, collecting the candy, doing your little trick or treat thing. Okay, Wee Bomination. Cleave, Diseased Bite, Consume Corpse, Death Grip, Haymaker, Corpse Explosion. And we get him we get him from a quest called Master the Managiri. Waterfly. Uh it's just another wasp thingy, I think. Up, Violet Fly. So we're getting a lot of these uh, flies. I think there was only one before that you could get in Outlands. Here's a new one. Vile Watcher Hatchling. And it's from a vendor in Spike Spires of Arkrock for a thousand gold. And it does Peck, Quills, Shriek, Cyclone, Nocturnal Strike, and Predatory Strike. Unused. I'm not sure uh, if this is an error or something. I'm not sure if it would actually be named unused, but apparently is from the battle pets and garrisons for barn level 3. Uh, very interesting. It is a cow. I would very much like this pet. Stampede, Chew, Mother's Milk, Feed, Where's the Beef, and Utter Destruction. <sighs> Alright, moving on. Another one of these spores that look like a balloon. I don't know if they're gonna keep this balloon as the model. Or if they're actually gonna give us like a spore looking thing, but... You know, whatever. It drops from Strange Spore in Shadow Moon Valley, and it does Confusing Sting, Creeping Fungus, Blinding Powder, Spiked Skin, Spore Shrooms, and Explode. Another Wasp. Not much information about that guy. Here's a little Magic Elephant. I thought he would be a beast or something, but nope, he's Magic. An Awful Big Adventure. Achievement. Who knows what that achievement's for? 
When Alex Fly, Smash, Ethereal, Moonfire, Headbutt, and Avalanche. That's quite interesting. I might look at that achievement later if I remember. Going through some of the ones I don't actually have. Here's one of these guys, one of these little Ravagers. Thicket Striker, not too much information. Gnaw, Bite, Ravage, Blood, Body Slam, Take Down, Puncture Wound. Pretty typical. This guy is definitely... I wish... I looked... I can't find if there's going to be a mount or a pet. I mean, hunter pet that looks like this, but... He is adorable. And he drops from Terror Claw Nest in Talorador. He does Claw, Alpha Strike, Hawkeye Dodge, Ravage, and Nature's Ward. Really adorable pet. I would love to have a mount like that. And of course, Sid the Squid. Oh, he's a Greater Dark Moon Pet Supplies, so Dark Moon Fair Pet. Water Jet, Tidal Wave, Bubble, Healing Stream, Whirlpool, and Cleansing Rain. Another Firefly with not much information on that guy. Sunfire Colliery. Uh, mass again, that we've seen that quest before, so I don't know if that quest is going to have multiple pets that you pick from or what. But anyway, Peck, Quills, Shriek, Cyclone, Nocturnal Strike, and Predatory Strike. Heard me, Wubbubba. Hmm. There we go. And then these Spora guys. We've been through these. Here's another one from that quest. The Stout, which is a Brewfest pet. Four 200 of the Brewfest coins. And he does Brew Bolt, Barrel Toss, Inebriate, Explosive Brew, Dive, and Bubble. Again, I hope they add that guy this year. And we don't have to wait to 2015. But I doubt that, since uh, Brewfest is literally days away. Stormwing. So many pets. So this is going to be probably like 500 pets or something like that. I don't remember what the achievement is at, but... And we've seen this rig- oh, I didn't go in as Opus Builty, but you know, just basic bird ones. And then we've seen this guy before and he drops in Talador. Uh, okay, so Screeching Gears, Widget Birth, Thunderbolt, Supercharge, Clean Up and Rebuild. Up some more. Soul of the Forge. A really cool looking elemental guy and a blacksmithing. Blacksmithing pet. That's really cool. Uh, deep Burn, Sulfurous Smash, Extra Plating, Stone Skin, Flamethrower, and Reforge. So that's a very interesting pet. I really like the look of it. I don't know if this is going to be a new look for the Elementals of Draenor or something. Son of Seath. Is it Seath or Seethi? Seetha. I'm not sure. Wait, that's a really cool looking one. Do we have any, uh, any of the little wind snake guy pets already? I'm not sure. So he's from a vendor for reputation of outcasts of the Arakar. Those are the bird people. Very cool. I like him. Oh, he's undead. Absorb, plagued, blood, hiss. Touch of Animus, Drain Blood, and Lift Off. Of course, the Skybro Engineering Pet, Flamethrower, Screeching Gears, Sticky Grenade, Reboot, Launch, and Decoy. Very strong pet, Sky Fry. So he's just a reputation pet, and just as reputation vendor. Bite. Arcane Blasts, Vicious Slice, Alpha Strike, Tail Sweep, 
and Shadow Shock. A new Spore Bat model pet. Doesn't give us any information of where to get him, and he probably just does typical, the same ones as the other Spore Bat pet. Servant of Demodus. Drops from Demodus. Magic Sword. Arcane Blast. Clean Up. Siphon Amina. Anima. Lightning Shield. And Soul Rush. Sentinel's Companion from a quest called Little Sister. Lost. Oh, and just your basic uh, bird abilities. The sea calf, which I am so excited for, and it's from fishing, fishing at your garrison for the fishing shack. I don't know how to get that. I've actually been working with the garrisons, which are currently uh, glitching out really bad at the moment on the beta, but. Really excited to get that fishing thing going because I found in the back of the bait in the back of the garrison there's this little cave area for the horde that has water and stuff and it's really pretty and I'm excited to just have a relaxing fish there. And then there's the sprout guys, fireflies, the peacock, which is from an achievement of Draenor Petmaster. We already knew that. Royal moths. No information on how to get those. The River Calf, which is a pet battle in the Grand. Uh, Rascal Bob is already in the game. <clears throat> Puddle Terror. And again, it's another one from that quest. So I'm interested to see what that quest is that's giving so many pets. Water Jet Punch, Nature's Ward, Clobber, Sunlight, and Dive. 